Leave a like rating on this video right now if you think EA have massively underrated this team of the season Marcus Lorente item. If you want to improve your ultimate team and need some coins to do so, you should check out my sponsor IG Vault. There's a link to do so in the description. And if you use the code Kieran, you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. Like, seriously, EA, this guy should be much higher rated and he should have been given one of the most insane team of the season cards ever. I know they're doing smaller upgrades for team of the season this year, but like, come on, Lorente has been insane this year. Arguably has been like one of, if not the best, like at minimum top three players in La Liga this year. And yeah, I really, really do feel like he should have been given a much better team of the season item. Also, definitely definitely should have been given a weak foot upgrade because he's actually scored a ton of goals this year with uh, his left foot but it is what it is this is what we've been given it's still a really good card it just could have been and should have been so much better in my opinion anyway let's get on with this review so the guy stands at six foot has high high wear crits and his three star three star should have been three star four star but whatever um no traits to discuss but some really really nice in-game attributes obviously ridiculous pace for a midfielder that in-game should be outstanding very nice shooting as well for a center mid not spectacular but still pretty good passing looks nice good vision of 89 really nice shot passing of 94 and the dribbling for the most part looks really really good too like he's six foot tall so i'm not expecting him to be super agile but uh, hopefully does feel good in uh, with sorry possession and hopefully he does with that really high ball control in-game dribbling and composure obviously though his agility isn't anything too spectacular in terms of his defensive stats good agility uh, not agility interception stats sorry of 90 and a decent stand tackle rating of 88 and then his physicals are um pretty amazing to be fair really elite stamina of 94 nice strength of 90 and good aggression also of 91 so all in all it's a really really nice well-rounded item Item, which I think is going to do a terrific job either as an uh, center mid or as a CDM. Now for a chem style for this Lorente item it pretty much comes down to where you want to play him but by the way look at that with a basic he looks insane and um, but if you're going to use him as a center mid I think you're going to want to go with engine just get that dribbling up a little bit more but if you're going to use him as a CDM which I feel like most people will I think you're going to see a lot of people use a shadow chem style on this guy it gives him pretty elite pace almost perfect and brings up his defensive stats a lot as well which just makes him look like an absolutely spectacular CDM option so that's the chem style we are going to use in this video I don't think there's any point in entertaining anchor just because his physicals are already really impressive unless you for whatever reason really really do want that 99 strength but i would rather have the 90 strength and ridiculous pace so uh, as i say we're going to go with a shadow also with this comes a pretty big boost in the tackling area as well which uh, anchor doesn't quite have on the slide tackle but um yeah as i said shadow is the one for the cdm role for me Okay, Lorente has got a pretty big midfield battle in this one up against Renato and Vidal. Oh, nice from Lorente. Gets himself in some space and then the shot unfortunately goes over the bar. Lorente, nice pass out wide there to Vasquez. He does really well to beat his man as well. And now they're trying to come through here, but Lorente has got the pace to keep up with him now. Oh, see you later. Chance to distribute. Lorente goes nicely out wide to Vasquez. So these are the stats at the break. As you can see, for the most part, being a pretty tight game. But uh, we're just edging it right now. Seven goals in the first 45. It's, uh, yeah, been one of them games. Hopefully we're going to see a bit more from Lorente in this second 45. Um, the ball's been coming a lot down our right edge. So uh, he hasn't been able to get the ball too much. But uh, hopefully we can change that in this second half. Lorente. Links up nicely and a chance. Oh, he scored as well. Nice left-footed finish to give us the lead back. Nice from Lorente. Done really well to find some space. Good through ball for Vasquez as well. Into Lorente. Who's found some space for himself. It's a good finesse, but it's an even better save from Chesney. Nice interception there from Lorente. Got a bit fortunate with the pass, though. Left-footed pass up top. Not a bad pass, but the header sadly goes... And, well, it did go the wrong way, but we ended up with a ball, so happy days. Nice, another good tackle there by the Spaniard. Chance, that's a good ball into Morales. Can we find some space to shoot? Oh, I came back the wrong way. 
and there is full time. What a game that ended up being. 6-5 scoreline. Lorente, for the most part, had a pretty solid opening display and managed to get himself on the score sheet, which is obviously very pleasing. But um, yeah, just a solid performance. I like how quick he is in midfield um, when tracking back, and my defence in that game was not that great. But it wasn't just the defence. The goalkeeper was literally useless. And it's the same for my opposition as well. Um, both goalkeepers were just letting every single shot in that game, and that's why we ended up with that scoreline. And in this game, Lorente is going to have another big midfield battle because he's going to be up against Team of the Season Rodri and Team of the Season um, Mason Mount. Lorente, chance to distribute now. Really good ball, that. And that's a great first touch from Vasquez too. Nice. Good interception there from the Spaniard. Oh, nice. Oh, well, it was nice if we didn't just give him the ball straight back, but at least we've got the ball there. Chance to switch play here. Lorente goes with the big boot, and what a ball that is. Comes to Lorente. Can we get the shot away with him? We can. Good save from Allison And Gomez just nicks it. That's a disgusting goal, but we'll take it. Nice tackle there on Mason Mount, who was looking to get away, but Lorente was having none of that. Rente. Oh, that ball almost went through. Nice interception there from Lorente. Oh, great last ditch tackle there from Lorente. Nice tackle there. Oh, well, initially nice tackle, but Mbappe's got back at him. But we've come away with the ball. Chance for Lucas Vasquez. Puts the ball in behind for Morales. Here's an opportunity. Cut back. Gone for the first. Oh, I've bottled that. Oh, I don't know what's happened there, but we've come away with the ball. Lorente and Longley linking it nicely, but then we've given the ball back. But we've won it back. Okay, so we've just won this game thanks to a very late goal from Vasquez. But uh, let's talk about Lorente, who... It's, it seems a weird thing to say when you've conceded that many goals, but I don't think he was that bad in that game, but I still don't think he was that good either. He had a solid performance, but um, yeah, nothing too crazy. Let's discuss the performances of this 89-rated Marcus Lorente then. Um, yeah, good card, but I can't get away from the feeling that I'm a little bit disappointed, and it just goes back to what I said at the start. I really feel like EA had an opportunity here to make a ridiculous team this season item, but uh, unfortunately they didn't. They just didn't give him a big enough upgrade. Still, as it is, it's a good card, and let's go over the positives first. Um, so what did I like about the card? Obviously the pace. He's very, very quick for a mid. He does have a bit of a big pace split, and um, his acceleration is much lower than his sprint speed. That's why the shadow chem style is very useful in these kind of situations, but uh, if you don't use a pace heavy chem style, do expect him to take a yard or two to actually hit that max speed. But once he gets going, he's uh, really quick, and if you watch the footage, you'll see him chase down both an Mbappe and a Ronaldo, which is obviously really pleasing. Now, position Additionally, I was a bit hot and cold with this card. He's got high, high work rates, and for some players, that's not an issue, but for me, with this guy, he just seemed a bit all over the place, and that was uh, a little bit frustrating. So that's one of the minor negatives to this item. Um, anyway, back onto the positives. Liked his shooting for a mid. He's not like super clinical or anything like that, but for a centre mid, I think he does have good shooting ability. Definitely can be a threat. Thought his passing was excellent. Don't really have any complaints there, but... He's very one-footed for the most part. He's one of the players that you've got to keep it on a stronger foot to get the most out of, especially when it comes to passing. Sadly, that freestyle weak foot is a negative. So, uh, yeah, just something to note there. I actually thought his dribbling was quite good for a midfielder, especially considering he's six foot tall. He's not the most agile of players, obviously, but for a mid, I think his ability on the ball is actually really, really good. Can turn, has really, really good ball control, and you can feel that in game. So happy with the dribbling. It's not a player that I'd recommend going on like loads of dribbles with, but he has got it in his locker. If you're in a tight situation, he's got the ability to turn, which is great. Defensively, for the most part, pretty solid. Like the amount of intercepts that he made for me, which was good. And also his tackling ability is definitely up there as well. And with him being so quick and having a good tackling ability, he's just going to chase down people and dispossess them, which is nice. Also, he's got good strength and aggression, so his fight for the ball is there. And he's just one of those players who, when he gets hold of a player, he is going to knock the ball away from them. He is going to dispossess them. Whether you complete the tackle or not could depend on the gameplay, but he is going to knock them off the ball, and that is great. He's definitely a player which you can just use to, like, hunt down the ball essentially you can just you know hold the l2 button and just move around and just you know chase players down l2 r2 button sorry 
Um, also, the other physical stats are great as well. Like the stamina a lot, didn't seem to tie for me, which was good. And also, his aerial ability was uh, actually up to a decent standard, which surprised me a bit because he's six foot tall, which fair enough isn't short, but it's not like massive. And his jumping stats pretty average. But for me, this guy just seemed to win headers, which was. Uh, yeah, interesting. Anyway, all in all, as I say, it's a very good item and it's a very usable card. And I think the best position for him is definitely as like a box-to-box -box secondary CDM. I feel like having someone next to him who's just going to sit back and defend allows this guy just to run free. And that is where I feel like you'll get the most out of him in the DM role as a box-to-box. -box. But I also think he'll work really well as a wide centre mid in something like a 4 one 2 one 2 as well. Just because he's got the all uh, the correct stats to play those kinds of roles. If you're going to use him as a centre mid, maybe do consider the engine cam style just for the dribbling upgrades. But uh, to be honest... Um, I still feel like Shadow will do or serve you very, very well. So, yeah, the summary is, it's a very good card, don't get me wrong, but I really, really do feel like it could have been better. So, although I am still feeling a bit disappointed because I feel like this card could have been much better, it's still a decent card, and uh, as I say, it's a, a very, very nice midfield option. Definitely better than uh, some of the centre mids we got in the Premier League um, team of the season. So, uh, yeah, happy days for the most part, but I just do wish... The EA gave it a better upgrade, which he should have got. But yeah, I've said that about 20 times in this video. Let's wrap it up. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.